Okay, this video is going to look at rotating objects in the code blocks work plane. Um, the, the work plane has three axes, so the red is the x axis, so things in, to this side would be positive x, negative x. Green is the y axis, positive, negative. And then blue is the Z or up and down axis. And anything below the work plane is negative. I like to think of the red and the green as being kind of like clotheslines. And just like a clothesline, if you spin something on a clothesline, like a coat hanger, it would spin around and around that clothesline. So here I'm going to run a piece of code and spin this object, which I've colored red, around the red x-axis clothesline. So here I rotated it and my code for that is just to rotate around axis x by 55 degrees and it's you can see that it spun around only that x-axis clothesline. Now I've changed my torus shape to green because I'm going to rotate it by 55 degrees around the y or green axis. So here's what it looks like when I run that code. So again, we've sort of spun that torus on the y axis. And next I've colored the object blue because I'm going to spin it around the z axis. Now the z axis I think of as being like a tether ball pole. So just like if you spin a tether ball, it's going to go around the pole. So objects are going to spin around the, the z-axis like that. So I'm going to run that code and the torus is going to spin around the blue tetherball pole z-axis. Alright, let's have a look at this code. So here I'm going to add the same object. I'm going to add it four times, but I'm going to slide it in a positive direction on the y-axis, the green axis, before I rotate it around that z or tetherball pole axis. And it's going to rotate, I'm specifying rotate from 0, 0, 0, which is the dead center of the work plane. And I'm going to do that four times, increasing the rotation by 90 degrees each time. So let's see what that looks like. So it slides, the first one doesn't rotate, second one 90 degrees, adding 90 each time. So now I've got a design rotated around that tether ball pole Z axis. Now let's look at that same piece of code, but I've turned the torus red because I'm going to be rotating it around the X axis to show you what that would look like. So we can see it's kind of spinning it around that uh, clothesline of the, the um, x-axis there. So uh, if you ever have something that's spinning in an unexpected direction like that, think about what axis you want it to be spinning around or rotating around. Okay, finally we're going to work with this same torus shape. Uh, we're going to repeat adding it eight times and I've colored it purple because I'm going to combine rotations on the red x-axis and also the blue uh, tetherball pole z-axis. So we'll add the shape here. It'll slide with this move block along the work plane up the y-axis by 45 millimeters. Then we're going to do the same rotation we did at the start of the video, which is around that red X clothesline axis by 55 degrees. And then after it, it does that rotation, it's going to rotate around the blue Z axis um, by a, a variable. Initially, the variable is going to be uh, have a value of zero, but it's going to grow by 45 all eight of the rotations. Now for the x-axis I'm not bothering to specify the pivot point because when you when you don't specify the shape just rotates around 
itself wherever it is. But for the z-axis rotation, it's important to say, hey, rotate from 0, 0, 0, which is the dead center of the work plane and sort of the base of our tetherball pole. So that's an important uh, specification to make so that we're rotating from that particular pivot point. So let's have a look at how this is going to look. I'm going to slow, slow it down initially. So we create the shape. We slide it 45 millimeters up the Y, then tilt it up on this red x-axis, before then spinning copies around the tetherball pole axis. And so you can see by doing those two rotations with a move block first, we're getting a nice basket shape and we'd probably want to eventually move it up the work plane, maybe give it a base. We could play with how far we're moving it up that uh, y-axis because that's going to uh, impact our eventual design also. But you can see that by combining a move and two rotations, we are starting to get a fun basket to play with.